A West Side woman suffering from a lot of pain after a wind gust split a tree in half, knocking it into her bedroom as she slept. I felt like a 50,000 pound truck was on me. The woman tells News for Jack she knew the tree had problems. Now she plans on taking legal action. The woman and her neighbors say that tree has been close to falling for quite some time. And as you just saw, it did fall yesterday, sending her to the hospital in serious condition. The tree fell as the wind and rain started to pick up yesterday afternoon while we were on the air live tracking the severe weather in our area. Here is yesterday afternoon's radar. What a difference today makes. Paramedics arrived at the mobile home on no road on the west side and rushed the woman to the hospital. News 4 Jacks reporter Scott Johnson is joining us live from the damaged home where the tree has now been removed. Scott, how's the injured woman doing? Well, the, her back is severely bruised up, Tom. This was just scary what happened to her they're starting to patch up the home you can see there in the distance a huge tree just goes right through it crushes her laying on her own bed yeah, misty powell is out of the hospital and using a blanket just to keep from shivering can you believe you lived through all that no i can't that's awful i'm i'm thankful I had some guardian angels watching over me. Underneath the blanket, there's a bruised body, practically crushed by this tree that now sits cut up outside her west side mobile home. Inside the mobile home when the tree crashed through, her husband and two-year-old daughter, fortunately, they were in the other side of the home. Are you thankful to be alive? Yeah, I'm thankful. They said the thing in my neck, if it would have been like an inch or more deeper, it would have hit my artery. I was glad I had told my daughter to stay out in the living room, that I'd be out in a little while. Mommy wasn't feeling good because she normally comes and lays down with me. This hole here that I'm looking through was not caused by the tree. Instead, it was caused by the jaws of life. Emergency crews cut a hole in here so they could access her because there was no real way to get to her. Powell tells me it was known that this tree had problems. We even told our landlord that it was going to happen that it was either going to land on our bedroom or land on the trailer next door. She says the landlord is only offering to fix the mobile home and not going to pay for her damages or a hotel. The pain, my whole chest hurts, my shoulder blades hurt. I literally feel like I had a 50 pound or 50,000 pound truck sitting on me. As a result, Powell says she's getting a lawyer. And I reached out to her, who she tells me her landlord company is. So far, I have not received a call back. I talked to a local attorney about this who tells me that she does have a viable lawsuit if she can prove that the landlord was aware that this tree was bad. But if he can maybe say it was an act of God, that might limit some liability here. That will have to be decided in the courts. On the West Side, Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station. Scott, as you said, the landlord promised to repair the damage to the home, but really, can that home be damaged? Can it be repaired, rather, or is it too far gone? It's hard to say, Tom. So if you look in the distance, Tommy, if you could zoom in, the damage was at the far end of the house. So I asked the woman who lives here about that, like, what are you planning to do? She tells me her prayer crews were considering cutting off the end of the house and sealing it up to essentially make it a shorter mobile home. Whether or not that works, we'll have to wait and see. But she says that looks like what the plans may be. Back to you. Scott Johnson reporting live from the west side. Thank you, Scott.